Now, many people, at first, when they hear us say that, think, mm, I don't know, Abraham, I've always pretty much known who I am, and I'm in this body. I was little, now I'm big. I was young, and now I'm older. But I pretty much know, I think, who I am. We say, not even close. Most humans have no real sense of who you are. You don't know your power. You don't know your wisdom. You don't know your clarity. You don't know your stamina. You don't know your love. You don't know your worthiness. You are allowing but a scanty little part of yourself because you're fixated on problems and using those problems as your predominant point of focus. Most people offer most of their vibration, which Oh, it's so important because your vibration equals your point of attraction. What you're putting out is what you're getting back. Most people offer the majority of their vibrational output because of something that they are observing, but they're not very particular about what they observe. Do you ever watch television? Ah. <laughs> if you do, you are bombarded by unwanted stuff. And it comes at you much faster than you can sort, sift, decide, and pivot. Much faster, much faster. So you just hear it and 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 hear it. Hear it and respond, hear it and respond, hear it and respond, hear it and respond, hear it, respond, hear it, respond. And you let that television train your frequency into unwanted territory. And then you wonder why the things that are in your vortex, the things you really want, don't come to you in the way we profess that they should come. What's wrong with me, you say. We say nothing in the world is wrong with you, but you sometimes let unwanted things do the majority of training you into a frequency that then you say, well, I'm tough. I've got a stiff upper lip. I'm determined. I can play full on. I can make it happen. I will make myself financially prosperous. I will bring myself into alignment with what I want. And we say, Really, friends, you cannot force it. You have to feel it into place. You have to allow it. You have to surrender the resistance in order to allow who you really are to be. And we think that if you would just use these words instead, it would set you on the right path immediately. I want to be an effective allower of what I have already created. Because... The creation part is done. You've been sifting. You've filled your vortex full. There's enough in your vortex to keep you busy for 20 or 30 lifetimes. In other words, you have created it. It has been created. So what you want to do is figure out how to allow yourself alignment with what's created. And then from inside the vortex, the path to the manifestation of it will occur to you. So what are we really saying? We've been telling you for years that when you think a thought, that then you have an emotional response to the thought that you think. We say to you, when you think a thought, that that thought, that active thought, then attracts other thoughts like it. And now you have a more active connection with that thought. We've been telling you that for a long time. And now we're saying to you that if you will find some way of thinking as few thoughts about as few things as possible by choosing something to think about that you usually don't think about but something that is completely without resistance that what will happen is over time gradually not the first day not the second day but certainly by the 30th or 40th or 50th day if you sit for 15 or 20 or 30 minutes in meditation and you have the singular intent of activating your attention to this music and sinking your breath with it. After a little while, the words that we are speaking in the background will come to the forefront and you'll realize that you are actively involved in thought that is inside the vortex. You'll find your mind rambling, but it will be on positive things. You see, you don't wrestle the unwanted to the ground. You just leave it behind. You just leave it behind. You let it just fade into the vibrational distance. Every thought that's ever been thought still exists. So we're not going to tell you it's gone forever because you could talk to an old friend, listen to an old song. You could look through some old photo albums. You could focus it back in, but you won't focus it back in to where it was 
to begin with letting it go in other words it takes a while to let it go and it would take a while to bring it back the more you look at something the more law of attraction says oh here's more here's more here's more here's more so we want you to realize that while it is a value for you to know what you don't want while it is helpful to know what you don't want while solutions are born out of defining the problem the more you define the problem the more you define the solution we just want to be very clear that while you're still defining the problem you cannot catch a vibrational glimpse of the solution and law of attraction is responding to you where you are offering your vibration and there are a lot of people who think that just by saying positive words or by saying it in a positive way that that's enough that law of attraction should now take them at their word and we say law of attraction does not take you at your word law of attraction takes you at your vibration and the only way you really know what your vibration is is by the way you're feeling so you have two indications of whether you're leaning away from who you really are and what you want or toward who you really are and what you really want the first first evidenced is the way you feel your emotions but many of you have become so determined and strong and valiant and vigilant and hardy and determined that you can withstand a whopping amount of negative emotion those who were here when you got here sort of trained you that way quit your crying <laughs> quit your crying they said keep a stiff upper lip the world doesn't revolve around you it really does <laughs> it really does your world exactly revolves around you and if you're keeping a stiff upper lip in the face of something unwanted and not doing anything about changing your focus until the tension goes away until the tension goes away you cannot be a vibrational match to the solution that's what that tension that you feel is that's your indication that you're not in the vicinity of who you really are and what you really want so we talk about deactivating the thought well that's a very good idea just really tricky because when you say you're gonna stop thinking about that thing you're thinking about that thing that you're gonna stop thinking about I'm gonna think about that thing I'm not gonna think about anymore but you're thinking about that thing you're not gonna think about anymore it's still active in your vibration and now I'm really irritated myself that I can't stop thinking about that thing don't want to think about that thing I'm not gonna 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 I'm thinking about that thing oh, I'm thinking about that thing so you have to start thinking about another thing but the tricky thing about thinking about another thing when you don't want to think about that thing is that th that thing you don't want to think about is so active in your vibration law of attraction saying here's some more of it 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 you say no no get away from me I don't want to think about you I don't want to think about you I don't want to think about you and then there's more I don't want to think about you I don't want to think about you I don't want to think oh I need a rest well what we are recommending is that you find some time that you can quiet your mind where you can focus upon something that doesn't require much thought so Jerry and Esther have gathered together with the help of a wonderful musician who put some really good music together really strange music that we specifically requested music that's not like music you usually hear because it doesn't beat the way music is supposed to beat it's unpredictable and if you try to sync your breath to it with one two three breaths in long one long breath to three counts is a better way of saying it Esther likes to suck it in suck it in suck it in and get as much in as she can in three beats and then long slow five beats out well it takes a little while to figure that out have you been playing with it and as you figure it out what happens is you cannot be focused upon something like that and stay actively involved in those things that have been bothering you so the more often you do that the more you allow your vortex to train you upward you see the difference between your vocabulary and ours is that you mean created manifested and we mean created vortexed and then we mean allowed manifested follow it's in there we were visiting with a beautiful woman recently who has been wanting to get pregnant 
not getting pregnant, not getting pregnant, not getting pregnant, wanting to be pregnant, wanting to be pregnant. Several conversations with her over a period of years about it. And then last time we saw her in Los Angeles, she announced to us and to several people in the audience who knew her, they'd been following the saga of her pregnancy for a while. I'm four months pregnant, she announced. And of course she and everyone else was delighted. And as the day went on, we took opportunity to point out several things around the pregnancy. We pointed out to her that even though she is now elated because she's no longer wrapped up in the absence of baby, she still doesn't have a baby in her arms yet. She's still not walking the baby, taking the baby trick-or-treating. That's something she's really looking forward to. She's still not feeding the baby. She's still not taking, well, just that one picture of the baby, but... She doesn't actually have the baby experience yet in the way she wants it. And so we said to everyone, your vortex is pregnant with all of your desires. If you could see the shift in this woman from not being pregnant to being pregnant, even though she doesn't have the baby yet, we would like all of you to take that shift. In other words, it's created. Your vortex is full of what you've created. Now you just get the, to play the fun game of figuring how, as in your words, which is what you're wisely looking for, how to release the resistance to allow it to come. So what do you think it is that makes it feel compelling to poke around at that problem in a sort of explanatory manner? See this? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I really, I really, really don't like it. It's not enough to just say, no thanks. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm not the only one who doesn't like it. We hear you say. Nobody really likes that. We shouldn't have to put up with it. We just shouldn't. I'm gonna get online. I'll bet there's others feel the same way. Yep, it's a movement. <laughs> I'm going to join the war against. There's a war against drugs and a war against poverty and a war against teenage pregnancy and a war against poverty and a war against drugs and a war against teenage pregnancy and a war against cancer and a war against drugs and a war against teenage pregnancy and a war against and a war against and a war against and a war against and they're all getting bigger. You were source energy before you came into these bodies. Do you know that? You don't remember it. Do you know that? You don't remember it. Do you know that? You sort of have to take our word for it, but do you know that? You don't remember that. You were source energy. You don't remember that because you came forth wanting new exposure to new experience, but you don't remember, you don't remember what was before you were in this physical body. But you don't have to remember that because the larger part of you is still there and that larger part of you is still emanating strong signals to you so you don't have to remember it you can feel it you can feel the vibration of who you came from but better stated who you have become because as you came forth from this source energy, a part of your consciousness into this physical body, as you explore here, knowing what you don't want and therefore knowing what you do want, every time you emanate that rocket of preference, the inner being part of you becomes it, absorbs it, amends who you are, becomes the fuller version of who you are as a result of this most recent exposure to life. So you can tell all day, every day, in every moment that you are conscious or awake or aware. You can tell whether you are vibrationally in the vicinity of who you are. You feel contentment, satisfaction, ease and flow, love and passion, exhilaration. In other words, you feel fabulous when you're tuned in to the energy of who you really are. And the less close to that frequency you are, the worse you feel, the more you feel frustration or lethargy or anger or fear or depression in other words the emotional guidance scale really indicates one thing and one thing only but it's a big thing it indicates your relationship with who you really are helpful